Science and Technology in Colserola. Today, the Colserola Mountains are the lungs of Barcelona. But years ago, they were also a source of natural resources for the city. In this itinerary, we'll see Colserola as a resource, with constructions like the Valvidrera Reservoir or the Grot Tunnel, where technology was put to work, providing energy for the city. Technology has allowed us to domesticate the mountains and conquer the summit. The construction of the Tibidabo Funicular Railway was a revolution in transportation. Such a contraption capable of scaling mountains had never before been seen in Catalonia. Once it set the example, similar funicular railways were built up mountains across Spain. Tibidabo, the highest peak in the Colserola Mountains, is also home to a neighborhood that had to overcome the obstacles of living in such an isolated spot, surrounded by nature. One example of this is the Josep Amargos water tower, which held the water supply for this self-sufficient mountaintop community. The peak is also home to the Tibidabo Amusement Park, which besides being a place for fun and leisure, is a laboratory and a museum of technological contraptions. Many of the attractions are feats of engineering, but the jewel in the crown is the unusual automaton museum, the most important museum of its time, thanks to the pieces it holds from the end of the 19th century. Not far away is the telecommunications tower, designed by the prestigious architect Norman Foster. From the time of its inauguration, Colserola Tower has been a reference in innovations in telecommunications, and its silhouette has become a symbol of Barcelona. On the eastern slopes of Colserola, we find the Fabra Observatory, which has gazed at the stars for over a century. Climbing back down to where the mountain and the city meet, we bring our route to a close at the Museum of Science, with more than 30,000 square meters of exhibition space for bringing science closer to the public.